They look like fragile pinwheels. But just one of these wind turbines weighs 200 tons, including 40 tons of blades, each blade 15 stories end to end. This is the Clipper Turbine Works in Cedar Rapids, Iowa, making the big boys of wind turbines utility scale. When assembled and operating, one of these 2.5 megawatt turbines generates enough electricity to power 600 to 800 homes. And generally, a wind farm will be have many multiple tens of multiple units and could replace a small uh, a small gas-fired or uh, coal-fired power plant. So utilities certainly are a key buyer here. Here near Arnold's Park, Iowa, clipper wind turbines spin air into electricity. Iowa gets 15 percent of its electric power from wind, far ahead of the national average of 2 percent. Despite the new administration's goal to produce 10 percent of all U.S. energy with alternate fuels in just three years, only a couple of companies in this country currently make utility-scale wind turbines like these. But the effects of a sagging economy are being felt. From an average of 10 to 12 turbines a week spinning out of here just last spring, they now produce just three to four a week. That's led to layoffs and creates a conundrum for a company which was poised to reflect national policy and sentiment and expand hiring for the jobs the Green Revolution promises. We're very pleased that the administration has laid out a strong vision for the future. Policies are being put in place. Um, now they just need to be implemented. This manufacturing plant turns out the generators, machine bases, gearboxes, and hubs that hold the blades of these giant windmills. There is a computer uh, in the hub. It senses the loads on the blade uh, throughout its length. So as you have varying wind conditions, will in turn set the blade to a certain position. Other parts for the generator come from Mexico. The fiberglass blades are made in Brazil to be painted here in Iowa. So Clipper is a global company. But the primary market for U.S. wind turbine factories is the U.S. Winds of change are blowing in this country, though it's still unclear whether the current interest in carbon-free energy independence will gather a headwind or again dissipate with the times. For This American Land, this is Bruce Burkhardt.